up guys it's Fab here and I'm doing another Sony Vegas tutorial this time it's on how to do intros and outros that look like they're done in After Effects but they're done in Sony Vegas with no plugins whatsoever just the software so I'll show you what it looks like you sound like ugly girls with the time you made a song is halfway original really I pity you so as you saw in the preview it looks like an After Effects intro but you know pretty simple but you don't need anything, all you need is Sony, any version of Sony Vegas. Before I start, I just want to say, uh, my headset on Turtle Beach is absolutely fucked. This one earphone hanging off, and the other one like is just barely on, it's pretty much broke, but I'm still doing it, just because this is the only thing I can use. Right, anyway, so, first thing you want to do is go to media generators go to solid color and just drag on any one and then by using this here you can choose your color and I'm gonna do it with a nice blue light blue you can do it with whatever color right you got that so go to video effects and go to cookie cutter and on cookie cutter it's a circle center drag that on and it will make a circle in the middle of your screen you can all, you can resize that to whatever you want but I'd just leave it if I was you okay so now we're gonna add a border to the circle so just go to border 0 0.02 or 1 0 0.01 to whatever you want and you might have seen that nothing happened so you just wanna go to the color and drag whatever color you want and do it white so you've got your circle now you need your text, so I'm just going to do any old text because it's a tutorial and doesn't matter. So I'm just going to type tutorial and do in black. And we'll make it a bit smaller. That's a bit small. Right, there you go. So now we've got a text. Obviously, you can choose whatever. Um, whatever uh, like font you want and stuff but now you've got your circle it's just a plain old circle nothing's happening so what you want to do now is go to your transitions go to whatever one you want but I'm going to show you like it was in the preview so go to clock wipe drag on counterclockwise hard onto your blue layer because it's already got the cookie cutter but now you'll notice that it does it with the whole thing and that does not look good at all I'm going to show you how to do it with the border on the outside so all you got to do to do that is go to event pan crop find where the border ends which is there add a new keyframe go along about a second to two actually sorry on that keyframe you just made just drag it off, go a second ahead, so however long you want it to come in, drag it down. It helps if you have um, enable snapping on because then it won't go out of place. So right, now it'll look like this. Oh fuck, done that wrong. Right, hold on. Oh shit, sorry. Right, I forgot to say delete your first one at the beginning so it's just at one and two and then this is what it should look like so there you go you can see now that that goes around and then this comes up revealing the text but if you don't want the text to be revealed it's because I've got the same color as the background so obviously if you had a different color which I'll show you quickly if I've just done it red for instance it'll just be there the whole time but I'm just gonna leave it black for the sake of it so you've got that That's still pretty simple all you want to do now is go event effects click on that and go to your size go to animate drag actually wait a second wait until this is stopped there so once that's done leave it about you know whenever you want split it split your blue layer and now go to event effects go to animate 
drag this about a about a second ish and put the size like off the you know just move it up so it's bigger and then this will happen now as you see that fills the screen to get bigger we run about a second so you just want to go to your uh, text and go to event pan crop look for where this gets bigger so it's getting bigger here look for where it stops goes off the screen which is there and then you just wanna drag this in so that it fills the screen and you're pretty much done so this is what it'll look like overall but what I done there is I you can have it faster the text is a bit too slow so just make that a bit faster and it should be alright just watch it again a bit faster again it's just really trial and error just to see what suits it best so anyway yeah now what you can do if you want is add in like lines, glow, color correction, whatever you want. You can do it for transitions and everything. Like add it, like you could have transition, say in quad feed or whatever, and then that comes up, brings out the quad feed, whatever you want. But it's just really using all of the transitions and stuff just to make it. And I did this because a lot of people were asking me to make them one, and so now you can make your own but obviously smoother, I've done this really quickly so yeah whatever if you like the tutorial then please like it because it helps a lot and if you have any questions just comment and I'll reply and I need some suggestions for more uh, tutorials that you want me to do so just leave a comment thanks for watching, see you later